I sat all morning in the college sick bay, counting bells nailing classes to a close. At two o'clock, our neighbours drove me home. In the porch, I met my father crying. He had always taken funerals in his stride, and Big Jim Evans, saying it was a hard blow. The baby cooed and laughed and rocked the pram when I came in, and I was embarrassed by old men standing up to shake my hand and tell me they were sorry for my trouble. Whispers informed strangers I was the eldest away at school <coughs> as my mother held my hand in hers and coughed out angry, tearless sighs. At 10 o'clock, the ambulance arrived with the corpse, stanched and bandaged by the nurses. Next morning, I went up into the room. Snowdrops and candles soothed the bedside. I saw him for the first time in six weeks, paler now, wearing a poppy bruise on his left temple. He lay in the four-foot box as in his cot. No gaudy scars. The bumper knocked him clear. A four-foot box, a foot for every year.